What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another episode of Ozone Plus. That's right, it's just regular Ozone, but I'm cooler. Today we're going to be starting a whole new endeavour, if you will, uh, on this channel, and it's going to be something that I've heard a lot of in especially the past few days, um, and there's a reason why, but we're going to be looking into FNAF Plus. Now, the other day on the anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's, we actually got uh, a new, like, teaser thing for this game. Uh, and so I kind of want to explore it more because it looks fantastic. So this is our brand new endeavor on the channel. We may go into lore and stuff like that and, and secret things in, these, in this game and game series and stuff if it becomes one. So... Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on this kind of topic very soon. Today we're going to be specifically looking at what FNAF Plus is, we're going to be looking at the Twitter and what is already out there and how excited I am for the game. To start with I think we should probably mention that FNAF Plus is a fan game so any lore that comes out of it isn't FNAF law. It's FNAF Plus law. I think what I love about this is the fact that it is a FNAF 1 remake. Okay, they've gone all the way back to FNAF 1 and they've they've remade it in their own way. But that's the thing. It is its own thing. It's its own series. It's got its own law. It's completely redone and it's it's different to FNAF 1 in many different ways. And that's why I'm super excited for it. So the game's being made by Fiznom. Uh, and yeah, he, he, he seems very reliable. Uh, I, I'm really excited for this because, see, usually I'm not a fan game sort of person. I don't really like playing fan games and theorizing about fan games because I feel like they've just taken the original Five Nights at Freddy's lore and like twisted it and, and not in a good way. It's, it's like too much for me. Uh, I feel like they need to stick simple like the first FNAF game did. But the fact that this is kind of like a reimagining of the entire FNAF 1 game is kind of cool to me. Like for me, that's got me interested. Um, I'm not saying the other fan games are bad, you know, this is in the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. Just like Candies, just like Pop Goes. All of those games, uh, it, they're, they're all in the initiative, and so is FNAF Plus. And FNAF Plus, to me, is the one I'm most hyped about. I've gone on a few Discord servers uh, recently, I've been sneaking around, and I've actually seen that people seem more excited for FNAF Plus than Security Breach. Yes, a fan-made FNAF game. People have more hype for a fan game than an actual game in the FNAF series. I think the reason for that is because we haven't gotten anything for Security Breach. And really, Steel will, I feel like, need to put out more. Uh, because at the moment, it's, people don't have enough hype about it. I really do hope that before the release, that they will release a date, and then we'll just get loads of stuff leading up to it. Because at the moment, what have we got? We've got two trailers, uh, we've got a few teasers, and that's about it. Whereas for FNAF Plus, you'll see that we've got a lot more, and for some reason, I'm actually more excited for it. Uh, again, it might be like a time thing, because Security Breach, we've been waiting for Security Breach for like two years now, haven't we? Uh, and FNAF Plus, uh, I, I also think it's about expectation. Because for Security Breach, we have really high expectation, and if our expectations are up here, and then Security Breach only reaches here, we're going to be disappointed. But for me, I don't know what to expect for FNAF Plus. So I don't really have any expectations, so I'm going to be, like, surprised either way in, in some cases, if you know what I mean. Like, that... It's really hard to say what I'm thinking about that, but um, I, I feel like FNAF Plus, we just don't have, like the highest expectation, higher expectations than Security Breach at least. Um, and so I, I feel like this is why people have more hype on it. Anyway, let's see what the hype is about. FNAF Plus has its very own Twitter account, 
FNAF Plus has its very own YouTube channel. So we're not going to be reacting to the YouTube videos today. We're going to be doing that a different day. Okay, we're going to be doing that in a different video. There's six videos at the moment on the channel uh, and they all tease uh, the game, the first game, FNAF Plus. But today we're going to be looking at specifically Twitter um, because that's where a lot of the announcements and stuff have been going on. So here it is. We've got Five Nights at Freddy's Plus, the official source for updates on Five Nights at Freddy's Plus, part of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative developed by Fiznom. So there we go. Uh, and as you can see, there is our channel that uh, w that we will be reacting to uh, soon. So we're going to go way back to the very first uh, tweet from FNAF Plus because I haven't looked at any of this stuff really. I've literally just come in uh, and start having a look because I seem interested in this and if you guys are interested in this as well I will do more videos um, So let's start from the very beginning. So welcome back. Okay, so that's kind of this is a FNAF 1 uh, remake welcome back um, This teaser Is incredible It's so good It's it's like a classic it's like a classic FNAF teaser, you know? And that's what I miss about the old days of FNAF. For Security Breach, sure, we've gotten a few good teasers, but nothing in depth, you know? Remember those days where you have to brighten the images and there'd be like secret words and stuff and everybody would be talking about them. I feel like that's why there's more hype on FNAF Plus because we have teasers like this. Uh, I don't know if there are things hidden in these teasers. Tell me in the comments below. Um, but wow, and let's just look at Freddy for a moment. This looks incredible. Uh, I like how his head is kind of chunkier. Um, and his hat looks looks gorgeous. Uh, you can even see like the metal endoskeletons. Like look at that. Like the piping. It's very cool, it, it looks very good. Um, so I, I'm glad it's not like a... I, I'm glad we have good bulky models um, because if it was literally just a direct remake of FNAF, I wouldn't enjoy it. This is its own thing. Like, the, these animatronics, I feel like these are going to be scarier. And that's why it's called Five Nights at Freddy's Plus, because it probably will be more packed into the game while it is a FNAF 1 remake, which is cool. I like that. So here we have a teaser video. Again, we're going to be reacting to all of those in different videos. Um, Happy Halloween we have, so this was up uploaded on October 31st, 2020, so this was like a year ago, basically. Uh, wow! So we have the model of Freddy, which I quite like. I'm not sure about the trousers, although it's kind of weird for him to be not walking around with trousers. No, actually, actually, it fits, it fits. I think a lot of this is going to be uh, just getting used to it. Because we're already used to the FNAF, like the original FNAF models, uh, and we, we need to stop getting used to them. I like how he has this kind of suit on, uh, rather than like a naked Freddy. Uh, again, I, I absolutely love how he's chunkier. It feels more kind of Chuck E. Cheese kind of vibes. Uh, I, I like how the paw is like a lighter colour. You know, th there's a lot of aspects here that have been really touched up and I feel like uh, it it's all really, really well done, which I'm surprised with, actually. I feel like Fiznom, again, is very reliable uh, and, and I feel like he's going to bring us forward and this is the game that people are going to go, that people's minds are going to explode for. Let's look at the next image. We have... Ooh! Camera... Uh... 10? Is this camera 10? I don't know. No, it's it's not. It's it's a different camera. Uh, we have a, a nice poster there. I Actually, yeah, looking at it, I really like this Freddy model. I really like it. It's a lot scarier. It, it's kind of like Withered Freddy in some ways, but I feel like it's a lot better than Withered Freddy. I'm sorry. Sorry, Withered Freddy, but... I think the head shape has been captured correctly. I think the teeth are so spooky. 
Uh, it's it's a great aspect to the entire thing. It's just it's amazing. It's so good. I cannot wait for this game. We have a let's party. Uh, can we read these? I don't think we can. No, I I I don't think there's any law there. But hopefully he does hide law and stuff in in certain aspects of the Im of the images and videos and stuff. Uh, I cannot wait to watch the videos because I reckon there's going to be some secrets in them. Uh, let's have a look at the next image. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! This image is so cool. Okay. So, a few things to point out. Lost and found. We've got Helpy here. That's incredible. we got Helpy. Uh, I like that addition. You can tell it's going to be Five Nights at Freddy's 1, but it's going to have a lot of different aspects to it. It's, it's going to be fire. It's going to be so cool. we got a little clock down there. We've got... Uh, oh, my God. What's his name? I forgot what he's called. We've got, like, the, the Hoover guy here. Uh, oh my god, we've got something I've just spotted. We've got missing person. Have you seen him? And then there's a portrait that's been ripped. I like that. Uh, <laughs> and here it says, if you've seen him, please call 1-888-FAZ-BEAR, I assume. Uh, and that's the original phone number from the original game. It's incredible. I, I absolutely love this. It feels like it should be in the FNAF universe. Obviously it's not, but it feels like it would be good enough to be an official uh, like game and stuff. And we've got pizza boxes here. Is that someone's shoe? Oh, this is lost and found. Yeah, of course. This is great. I love this so much. We have teaser video two there, teaser video three, teaser video four. Cannot wait to watch all of these. Uh, there's an advert. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Okay, so we got a bonus here. This is on January 23rd, 2021. Uh, and wow, we got like the little bobble heads. So I guess this is our, this was our first look at the other animatronics, I guess. Uh, it seems like Chica's going to have like a, like a bow in her, uh, her hair rather than a bow tie. That's kind of cool. Uh, Chica looks more like a bird to me in this. Uh, I feel like in the original game, she didn't really look that much like a bird, apart from like the tufts of hair and the uh, the beak. If I had to get any of these, it would be the Bonnie because of the little buck teeth. I absolutely love that, and the ears are just going straight up. It, amazing! It's so cool. Uh, wow, the original celebrate poster. This is so cool. This is this is like underrated. Right? Like, I can't believe this is the first time I'm seeing this. Because this is the original FNAF stuff. Just redone. And redone so well with amazing models. Uh, an amazing creepy effect. I, what is... There's drawings on the wall and stuff. This is so cool. You know, now that I think of this. Now that I think of it. This is kind of what I wanted FNAF VR to be. Uh, imagine all this in VR. I wanted VR to be like the original games, but different, you know, slightly different, but they weren't really that different. They were, they were the same sets and I, I wanted lore kind of, I, I wanted more lore in these different places uh, just to help us with the timeline and stuff, but we didn't really get that. We just got the original locations and stuff. I didn't really like that in, in Help Wanted, but... Yeah, this is so cool. Freg... Fregdrix? Fregdrix tools and timepieces. Interesting. It's a little magician uh, clock. Ah, oh, those are so cute. And I like how these are a little bit like Lonely Freddy's, if, if you've ever read that, that story. Uh, how they've got like little speakers on their chest. Uh, great addition. The cupcake has a moustache! Oh my god. Oh my... <laughs> camera 10 whoa this is camera 10 obviously yeah uh wow that's really spooky is that actually going to be like a no that's definitely in the game so imagine this but with the uh the camera layout and stuff the map uh that's very creepy 
and that's one thing as well. I feel like this game is... It, it's not going to be like screenshots. Uh, not, oh, sorry, no, not screenshots. Still images when we look at the cameras. I feel like it's, it's all going to be animated and stuff. And it's all going to look wonderful. Uh, so I cannot wait to see this in game. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, this is this is the one that was on the anniversary breaking and entering. We're gonna be reacting to that in a video. Uh, another ad. Anything else? Is there anything else? One hour left. Oh wow. That's like the outside of the pizzeria. I like that. Four stars. How's it a four star pizzeria? I guess. Nothing bad has happened in it yet, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, is this... Ah, oh, it's the employees only room. What? Chica doesn't have a beak. Chica doesn't have a beak. This is incredible. We've got a Freddy hand here. The Bonnie head is just looking at us. Oh, man. I am so excited for this game game i'm so excited another bonus this was on august night this was yesterday oh my god when is this game coming out by the way i want to know when this game is coming out i don't know if there's a release date uh but it seems like we're getting a lot we've been getting a lot recently uh so we've got the models of bonnie and chica here uh again bonnie is wearing actual trousers uh chica's cupcake I'm in love. <laughs> it's a chef cupcake uh, with with a little body as well. That's beautiful. Bonnie's design is so creepy. I, I, I say that as if Chica's isn't. Chica's is... Look at her, like, her legs. Man, this is crazy. I cannot wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We've got a bull pit out of order. It's another helpy. I'm astounded. I'm so astounded. I wonder what's going to happen with this ball pit. Again, this is FNAF 1, but a huge twist to FNAF 1. Uh, we've got a ball pit now, so that's that's great. It feels like it's a combination of FNAF 1 and FNAF 2. Foxy. This is our first look at Foxy. Oh my god. He's got like rings in his ears. He's got very, like a blue... He's got a blue eyeball. What's up with that? That's... Is that when he like turns savage? He, his eye go, goes blue or is it just usually like that? That's very creepy though. Man. <laughs> Fiznom, I cannot wait for this game. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna be doing, be, eh, I'm gonna be doing more in the future. Uh, and very soon we're gonna be reacting to all those videos that we missed out. Anyway, I'm going to see you in that video and uh, yeah, peace out.